as you can see, I'm using my computer. That's why I was looking way up in the video, can we lose salvation and stuff like that. Um, it's because my computer is that big. My monitor is like 42, 46 inches, one of those. Um, so, <clears throat> this video right here is going to be called, or not going to be called, but um, it's going to be about me turning from God into sin, like willful, habitual sin, and wanting to come back to Him. Asking to come back to him. So. Oh, there's a lot of Christians out there who became born again. And then received salvation. And um, received salvation and then became born again. With the Holy Spirit. And then turn their back on God and go into sin and habitually, uh, willfully sinning. Um, I learned that I'm not the only one who's done that. So, uh, yeah, the presence of God that was in me left, and it left me completely in January 2015. Um, since then, I haven't felt the presence of God in me. Yes, he's a, he's around, yeah, but he's, I don't feel him in me. But if he wasn't in me, then I wouldn't even be making these videos and stuff. Because it's with the Holy Spirit that we want to serve God. So, um, I learned that we can do something called quench the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is like a consuming fire in you. If you don't do godly things, you won't keep the fire of the Holy Spirit. You will eventually, ultimately quench the Spirit in you um, due to not doing godly things. Think of it like an altar. You put wood on the fire on the altar to keep it burning, for the fire to keep burning. Um, but if you stop putting stuff for the fire to burn, the fire will go out. You'll quench the fire. So it's just like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, is like a, the Holy Spirit is like a consuming fire within us. So that's um, that's how you quench the Spirit is by doing ungodly things. And um, if you don't do godly things, then it's sin. Anything that doesn't come from the faith is sin. So um, watching Barney is a sin. So, um, anything that's not from the faith, faith is sin. Um, when you do ungodly things more than doing godly things, then you're, you start dimming down the Holy Spirit. If you keep that up, you'll ultimately quench the Spirit's fire within you completely, which I did, and it's not fun, because it makes me feel like I'm spiritually alone, spiritually lost. I pray and pray for the Spirit to come back. Well, He's in me, but for the presence to come back. But, so far, no luck. Everybody just keeps saying, pray, keep praying, keep doing godly things, worshiping, making these videos to enlighten people to the way to salvation. I do. Still nothing. I used to actually think that quenching the Holy Spirit was actually the unforgivable sin, was blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, because I thought that I really rejected the Holy Spirit out of me. I thought that the Holy Spirit left me because I went into habitual, willful sin. Like the type of sin that you know completely what you're doing is wrong, but you just, you have an attitude like, oh, I'm saved, I'll just ask for forgiveness later. So that's what I did. I did that for years, and I had that, like, I've gone to, like, several, several different 
Christian pages and emailed them saying, talking to them about my story and stuff, what happened, what my deal was. I told them everything. Um, and they all, they actually said that, um, all but one actually said that if I truly received Jesus as my Lord and Savior and received the, the gift of the Holy Spirit and became born again, then the Bible teaches that I am going to go to heaven so that I cannot lose salvation. And I've done my research on that too. For he gives us eternal life. Nobody can snatch or take away us from his hand. Um, I am convinced that neither sin nor death nor demons nor anybody nor anything in the history of cre uh, cre creation can take the love away from us that God has or something. So, that's good right there. Otherwise, I would be lost. I would have lost salvation if I could lose salvation. I would be really, really um, I would be completely smudged. I would be smudged. I would be completely out of luck. So, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm glad that God still loves me and that he still shows mercy on me. Because if I didn't, if I lost salvation or something like that, if it was possible, I wouldn't even be here right now. Because, I, not in these videos, but not alive at all. Because if I lost salvation, he wouldn't keep showing mercy on me. Why? I mean, if I, I don't think he would keep showing mercy on me. We're alive right now where have, he gives us breath for a purpose. To, until our work, uh, his work is finished. Um, so, we can't serve God if we lost salvation. Unless, if he wants us just to go around warning people to not do what we did and ultimately them losing their salvation too. No, so salvation cannot be lost. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who's twisting the word of God that's actually saying Hebrews 10.26 is um, scripture that proves that you can lose salvation, blah, blah, blah. But if that was the case, I would definitely have lost salvation. <sighs> But it's not. It's definitely not the case. Yes, I admit, I would definitely be lying if I said I have full faith. I would be completely lying if I said that I don't have more doubt than faith. I have more doubt than I do faith. I have just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of faith. I'm. St it's very, very difficult to keep to st keep believing when all these people are twisting God's words and stuff you start believing theirs they're twisters too and um then you start questioning yourself saying oh crap maybe I did lose salvation or maybe God can't hear my prayers or something like that that nope that's only from one person the devil the devil wants people to listen to the word twisters to start for us to start believing them so we can get confused and take our minds off God. But there's only one person out there who won't twist God's word and that knows completely that it's completely true. Well, a lot of like crap tons of Christians do, but I mean, you know what I mean? And that's God himself because he wrote it. He knows exactly what's true in the Bible because he wrote it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's that video. Oh, well, God still loves me because I'm still here, so. And I thank God that he loves me still because I've turned my back on him so many times. Into sin. And then wanting to come back to him, it's just amazing that he shows me mercy and stuff. I ask and ask for him to give me the presence of the Holy Spirit back. I have yet to receive it again, but I, I, that won't stop me from asking. A lot of times when I pray to God, so many times I feel I annoy him. But that's Satan right there, just making, trying to make me stop praying because it makes me scared that 
I annoy God too many times, but, you know, uh, well, I hope you guys enjoy this video.